So this is a geometry algebra review video at the beginning of the year. We like to recap some of the things you learned from algebra, and this one will focus on solving equations. So on this first slide, we see that we're looking at an equation that has a variable on just one side. And when solving an equation with a variable on one side, the first thing we'd like to do is group the constants on the other side from the variable. So we see we have this constant 5. And if we subtract it from both sides of the equal sign, it'll cancel from the side with the variable. We bring the variable straight down, 3x. The 5 is canceled. We bring the equal sign straight down. And then 20 minus 5 gives us 15. Now we're ready for the next step, which is to divide both sides by the coefficient of the variable. The coefficient is 3. So we'll divide both sides of the equation by 3. We see that the threes on the left cancel. That leaves us with x equals 5. And that is the solution to this first example. So with this second example, we're still looking at an equation where the variables are on one side of the equal sign. Here's our equal sign. And we see we have two instances of the same variable x. So when there are two variables on the same side, we want to combine them first, as long as they're like terms. And we see we have 8x and a positive 3x. Those can come together and give us 11x. Then we just bring down the constant, bring down the equal sign, and everything on the other side of the equal sign. Now we would like to combine the constants on the opposite side from the variables. So we see we have 11x. The 12s cancel. We bring down our equal sign and 32 plus 12 is 44. So we group the constants on the opposite side from the variable, and then we finish by dividing both sides by the coefficient of the variable. And that leaves us with x equal to 4. In this third example, we're looking at an equation where the variable exists on both sides of the equation. When there are variables on opposite sides of the equation, first we'd like to group the variables on one side. So I'm going to take the 5 from the right-hand side and subtract it over to the left-hand side. So our first step, subtract 5x from both sides. And notice I selected the smaller. The 5x is smaller than the 7x, and I do that so that I avoid negative coefficients when possible. So now 7x minus 5x is 2x. We bring down the plus 3. We bring down the equal sign. The 5x's cancel each other out. And don't forget to bring the sign over with your constant. So that's a negative 9 that comes down. Now, we would like to get the constants on the opposite side from the variable, so we will subtract 3 from both sides. And that brings down the 2x, the 3's cancel, the equal sign comes down, and negative 9 subtract 3 is negative 12. And our final step is to divide both sides by the coefficient. So we divide by 2, the 2's cancel, giving us x equals negative 6. So those were our three examples to quickly review solving equations. Um, and this is to prep us for the beginning of our geometry school year.